The other issue that I want to raise uh, is the issue that is referenced by Article 1.5 uh, relating to the vaccine trials, or in plain English, the use of residents in these facilities as human guinea pigs. There are a series of separate trials that were carried out on children in these homes. Previously, I've raised in this House uh, the issue of the trials that took place uh, in between 1960 and 1961 to others that took place in the early, 1970s, early 1970s and that continued up to 1976. It now seems from recent research that there were earlier trials in the 1930s and there may have been later trials than the ones that we know to date. These children were seen as an accessible group where consent was not an issue. Some were used in more than one trial. For example, it's reported that Mary Steed, who is now based in the United States and born in Bessborough in 1960, was used as part of four separate vaccine trials. These children were treated as if they were little more than lab rats, and I think that's unacceptable. And these trials were performed with the knowledge, if not the approval, of official Ireland, the medical and scientific community as well, because the report of the 1960-1961 trial, which involved 58 infants in institutions dotted around the state, was actually published in the British Medical Journal in 1962. The background to the subsequent clinical trials that took place in the late 1960s and early 1970s was due to the great upsurge at the time in the number of severe adverse reactions to children who received the 3-in-1 DTP uh, Trivax vaccine manufactured by Wellcome. The 1973 vaccine trial involved an institution and a comparative control group outside the institution. A total of 116 children were involved, comprising of 59 from the community and 57 from two children's homes in the Dublin area. The children in the community were given the normal commercial vaccine and those that were used as uh, guinea pigs uh, were given the new uh, trial vaccine uh, that was being studied uh, at the time. As the Minister is aware, these children were used to test out vaccines because during the late 1960s and 1970s, there was a significant increase in the number of adverse reactions to the whooping cough vaccine. A former Minister for Health admitted while in office that the side effects generally recognised as occurring occasionally following the administration of the whooping cough, va whooping cough vaccine included mental retardation and paralysis. These trials took place in 1973 and were approved by the National Drugs Advisory Board and a licence was issued to Welcome for a two-year period, yet these trials were still ongoing in 1976. The trials beg a number of questions which remain unanswered. How many vaccine trials in total were conducted? What concoction did these children receive? Why was it always the case that the children institu in the institutions received the experimental vaccine while the children in the community received the control vaccine? Were children in care used in the trials uh, and what consent uh, was given for this? What, if any, are the long-term medical effects of these trials on the children that receive them? Why is the state refused to investigate the content of the files that were handed over to the Lafoy Commission by the uh, religious orders and uh, by the state agencies and uh, by Welcome at the time? Why were those uh, files handed back to those particular uh, organisations? Uh, and not uh, held on to, to ensure that that information was, uh, was controlled uh, by the state. As you know, Minister, this particular issue was to be investigated by the Lafoy Commission, uh, but because of a court challenge at the time, uh, that didn't happen, and that particular module uh, never progressed. The documents, of course, were handed back to the original owners back in 2012. Can I ask you, Minister, and can you assure the House here 
that those particular records that were handed back in 2012 can now be sourced again, can be collated again, and can be made available to this particular inquiry, and that we can, once and for all, get some answers to questions that should have been answered a long time ago, that these children, now adults, should have had access to uh, a long time ago.